Happy New Year everyone. Uh, it's John Vancouver Techie uh, doing a demo of Navionics on a unsupported Android device. So here I am um, inside my boat and you can see here's my Lapan 10 inch tablet and then over here I just set on my, my dashboard here is my Nexus 7 tablet. Um, it's kind of bright with you know the iPhone doesn't give good video but we'll, we'll try this for demonstration purposes. So, um, I can have Navionics installed, and it works great on this tablet. Um, you can see up here it says locked by Keep Screen. Um, it's another app, so when I pull up Navionics on this tablet, uh, Keep Screen keeps this screen open and uh, locked. So it doesn't shut down, doesn't do a timeout. Um, therefore, I can keep my GPS and everything uh, going here. You can see here, you know, Edmonds Marina, Browns Bay, uh, Skagit Head, and Possession Point, uh, favorite places, whatnot. So let's go back. We'll exit out. Um, the application that I use to back up the app is called App Backup and Restore. And here, you, it, it'll list all the applications that you have backed up. So or that you can back up. You can see all my tools and whatever. And you can see here I've archived it. Uncheck this. And select backup. And it's been backed up. Um, I did this a couple days ago. And so I was able to save it. And once it's saved, uh, what I usually do is um, you can either copy the APK file to your, mach your workstation through a USB cable or you can upload it to the cloud by using Dropbox. And so with Dropbox, um, it shows files that I have up in the cloud at storage. You get two gigabytes free when you create an account. And here you can see up on Dropbox is my Navionics single A APK file. And I did that two years two days ago and it's 21 megabytes. So that way wherever I'm at I can reinstall the app um, anywhere that I have Wi-Fi access, but also locally, it's in, it's it's saved locally. So if I wanted to uh, get to it, I can use a file manager. And I'm in my app backups restore directory. I can install it from here also. So I mean, if I wanted to. And there it is right there. So if I'm offline and I somehow the application crashes and I need to reinstall it, I could do that, which makes it nice. So we'll go over here to the Nexus 7. And you can see I have App Backup Restore and Dropbox installed, um, other applications, whatnot, my magazines. It's actually it's a fairly nice tablet. It's smooth, uh, plenty of horsepower. Um, I like it a lot. So, we're going to open Dropbox. And then down on the list, I see my APK file. And so, the Android tablet automatically recognizes the APK, APK file. So, I select it. It's going to ask me to install it. But the one thing I have to make sure is, when I install this, that uh, I have a setting that's set that allows me to in install unsecure files. And you can check that. Um, once you're done. So here I am installing the file there at the app I should say outside of Google Play which makes it nice so I can control that environment and it says I'm done. So we'll go back home and I don't think I see it here in the home screen let's see I'll flip it up here see here and here it is here and there we go so now um, you can see it there's a download map section will cancel but here let me pinch it here's the Columbia River and Navionics on my 
uh, Nexus 7. It works great. So I'll see if I can find location. And there we are. So it pinpointed me a little bit north of the Columbia River. You can see Government Island. You can see Lackamas Lake. Fisher's Quarry, which is here. And uh, 205 Bridge here. So it makes it. So the GPS works great because it automatically located me right there. If I point this, it'll swing it around. Um, it's very smooth on the Nexus 7. Um, good resolution, good color. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it turns out really nice. Um, just as nice as my 10 inch tablet. Um, so I'm at, I'm quite a, I'm at a loss, you know, which one to use. I don't know, we'll see. I'll test this one out. Uh, the pinch and zoom feature just makes it great. So if I wanted to pan out, it's a buoy 10, Astoria. It's just fantastic. You got your green can line for those who troll buoy 10. You know that very well. Um, out towards buoy 10. Now we'll, we'll head up north. It's home away from home, Puget Sound area. We'll pull this up here. Shishol Bay. Let's see. Yeah, Edmonds and Whidbey Island. So, there you go. I mean, it works great. Uh, if I go to menu, menu settings and whatnot, you can download the map over here. Um, if not, you know, you can go back to your map. So it's it's just a fantastic tool. You know, I, I didn't have to buy the app again. And uh, if you want to go back, just hit the GPS and it takes me right back to where I'm at. It's, it's, it's just great. And for whatever, a Nexus 7 brand new is $199. Um, you can't beat a little 7-inch plotter there. Um, it actually might make a better choice than my 10 inch plotter which is showing me that I'm going 1.3 knot, three knots in my garage but I'm really not so um, there it is my little demo on getting your Android app over to another Android device it's not totally supported by Navionics but it allows you to install it so if you find an Android tablet that's not on the supported list in Navionics you could do this sometimes it'll crash sometimes it won't it really depends but you can test it out and the built-in GPS chip works great um, you know here I'm in, in my garage as you can see and I'm able to pull my setting I don't think even on my 10 inch let me see here oh there we go it shows me there so yeah even in the garage I'm able to pull GPS so it pulls some of the Wi-Fi info and the GPS so um, that's it everyone happy new year and I hope this video helps thanks bye